It's not about motivation. When is new discipline? Wake up and win today. <laughs> discipline comes from within. Boxing King Media in association with Boxer. To like to have with me the knowledge, Spencer Ferron. Spencer, it's great to see you. Uh, firstly, how are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm good. You know, um, fresh back from Palestine, so that was eye opening, eye, eye drawing. For, um, yeah. Um, so, I mean, I'm back and uh, back to be able to witness this excellent press conference right now, you know? I mean, some would say that Bivol Baterbiev on its own. Is, is worthy enough for all the cameras to come out, but it's an absolute stack card. Just want to firstly get your opinion on the on, on Baterbia Bivol. Um, Colin Hart said this was the Fraser Ali of the light heavyweight division. And, you know, Colin, it could be, could be right, but the difference is this, it's like Fraser, Fraser and Ali were the were, were at the time when they fought March 9th, 1971, they were the they were the biggest names in sport, and they needed each other. You know what I mean? When Colin Hart's saying that, I'm saying, yeah, I hear it to an extent, um, but it's big. It's 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 big. Um, but I wouldn't go that far. But it is a big fight. Um, I think historically, we know like when we get drawn into something or we feel the passion of something. I would say that um, Michael Spinks uh, versus Dwight Muhammad Quarry for the WB and WBC title, the IBF title wasn't around then. That was a very big match because of the skills that both of them brought to the, to the table. And, and it was an incredible fight as well. So hopefully we're gonna see something similarly to, to, to that. It's, it's great fight, great fight. I'm really looking forward to that. Only six weeks away, but can you put one fighter as a favorite at this stage? Um, yeah, I slightly tip Baterviev to come out victorious. Um, Dimitri Bivol is excellent. He's excellent. You know, he's got a win over Canelo. That's no easy task. And remember, he was the underdog going into that fight. And then all of a sudden, he beats Canelo. Ah, oh, he was just too big. No, he wasn't. He was technically too good. Right? And he was big. So, you know, but I've still got um, um, Baterviev coming out victorious in that fight. John Tewalda. Gets another opportunity to fight on the Saudi card against Zidi Zhang. Obviously, coming off that loss to both fighters, coming off that loss to Joseph Parker. A lot of people said Deontay Wilder was past his best. He didn't have it in himself anymore. He gets another opportunity. What are you expecting? Um, I'm going to be honest. I had a really good chat today with Deontay Wilder. If anybody knows the history, over the years, me and him have been going back and forth with each other for years. And we spoke. Big up Spencer Brown. I was on the phone to Spencer Brown. He said, oh, I've got someone that I want you to talk to. And he passed over Deontay Wilder. And we had a really, really good chat. Um, you know what, Deontay Wilder is a multi-millionaire, Deontay Wilder is established, he's looked after, he's looked after his family, he's, he's in a good, relaxed, civilised position, right? Just like the Rocky movie, you got civilised, Rock! He has to be uncivilised again, he has to bring back, to be uncivilised, um, not try to overly ingratiate himself by being a master boxer because people have been very, very critical of him, saying like, you know what I mean? Technically, he's the worst boxer since Primo Carnera. You know what I mean? In you know what I mean in in the forties. So he he has to change that. But Deontay Wilder just needs to do his own thing. You know what I mean? And it's roadman science. That's what he needs to do and go back to that. And we had a really good chat today. You know, really good chat. He's I think he's in a good place spiritually, right? But sometimes you got to switch off of that and get back. Sometimes you can disconnect from the matrix, but then you have to go back into it. But I think if Deontay Wilder turns up, turns up, then Deontay Wilder is going to knock out Zhang. But then equally, Zhang can punch. So Zhang could clap him and, and you know what I mean? It's a great fight, but you know what I mean? I think if the right Deontay Wilder turns up, then he could come out victorious. And I believe that's what's going to happen. Hergovic, Daniel Dubois, Daniel, you know very well, obviously trained by Don Charles. Mm -hmm. Could This fight could have some significance. It could be for the IBF. World Heavyweight Championship, which we will know that probably closer to the time. Mm -hmm. Who do you favor in that fight? Um, you know, the two of them sparred, right? And, and you must have heard, allegedly, Hergovic knocked out Daniel Dubois in sparring, right? I know you've heard it. You're just right. So, but sparring, sparring, I want you to just realize that, right? Because if it was down to sparring, I would be the undisputed champion of the world. I used to batter everyone in sparring. This is facts, right? I could never bring it fight night, though. 
So, I believe that um, Daniel Dubois, under the tutelage of Don Charles and, and where he is and the things that he's doing, I believe that Daniel Dubois could pick this fight because I've seen a new hunger inside of him. And, you know, to stop Big Baby Miller in the last round shows you, like, he could have just cruised and got a points when he didn't. He wanted to get the knockout. And I think there are certain elements that were missing inside of Daniel Dubois, right? But it's not an easy fight because really and truly, Hergovic is going to go into that fight the favourite. Let's be real, right? But if Daniel Dubois' mind is right for this and he's properly on it, then I've got Daniel Dubois coming out victorious. I mean, what have you made of this whole matchroom, Queensbury, and also, you know, fighters are stepping up. Hamza Shiraz is taking Amma Williams. Nick so Ball against problem. Raymond Ford. Listen, listen. Hamza Shiraz, my brother. Alhamdulillah, I love that kid. Um, uh, I spent time with Amma Williams. Like, we had some hospitality. We took him out to a couple of restaurants when he came over, uh, when, he, when he boxed over, what was that, on the AJ card, right? It was that last year, April. Well, that's a year ago. Um, and... He's a very, um, what can I say, he, he, he's, he, he's very eclectic, right? He, um, it's a good, it's a good fight. Hamzat Suarez is the closest thing I've seen from a British fighter trying to emulate the style of Oscar De La Hoya. Um, and Amor Williams um, paces himself neat, but he's explosive. So that's a great fight, you know what I mean? But, you know, I, I like Amal Williams a lot, but there's no way that I'm going to speak anything against my brother, right? And that's the truth. And, like, Hamza Shreds, he's, he's, he's British, right? And he's Muslim. So I can't go against him. <laughs> I mean, I have all the fights on the card. Is there one particular one that you're looking out for? Um, I, I like, I like the, the Ford-Bell fight. That's a great fight. Because, really and truly, that should be for a unified title because... You know what I mean? Um, Bell won that fight. He, he, he should be WBC um, champion of the world, and he's not. And he can really fight. So that's another great fight. And this is the thing, like, where the fights are kind of pickings, but the fight that's kind of gone under the, the radar is um, Craig Richards' fight. You know what I mean? Because my boy is fighting, what's his, what's his name? Um, Hedgeson. Hedgeson ain't no joke, no? Right? Seriously. He puts combinations together really sharp. But you know what? I know like um, Shane McGuin is very clever. I've got to give him his dues. Shane McGuin is very clever. Um, for um, Craig to outbox him. But he better not take Hutchison lightly. Because if he does, if he takes him lightly, it could be lights out for him. Spence, obviously another big fight happening this week over in New York City, Devin Haney takes on Ryan Garcia. What have you made of this whole social media platform? Um, you take anything from it? Is it is it mind games? Is it him having some issues? What is it? Uh, obviously, he's having issues. And the thing about it is this: in the world that we live, you can have issues, uh, but if you're in the public eye, your issues are going to be publicised, and that's what's happening right now. He's got he's got issues, and I stick to what. Um, Teddy Atlas is saying like he shouldn't be fighting I'm going to be real with you he shouldn't, he shouldn't be fighting right but you know all said and done you never know he could come out victorious against Devin Haney which I doubt I think Devin Haney is a consummate professional right um, and he actually really lives this he lives the sport you know what I mean he he, he encompasses what being a professional boxer is and because of that, I have him, I have him winning. Maybe even a, a, a late stoppage, around about round nine or ten. Um, you're, you're dealing with, if you're dealing with the disciplined person against the undisciplined person, the motivated person against the unmotivated person. Always go for the person that is the disciplined and the motivated person. And that's Devin Haney. Devin Haney. You know what I mean, what he's done is a two-weight world champion, former undisputed champion, uh, and nobody don't drop. Um, pro Grey like how he how he did and Pro Grey to his own admission was like right he can actually punch so I got I got Devin Haney late stoppage in that fight Spencer fight that we all want to see is South London versus East London Joshua Boatsy versus Anthony Yard um, Anthony put a picture out or video out rather a couple of days ago where he said that he was now a free agent he, he wasn't promotionally contracted to Queensbridge what he meant Frank's come out and said 
the opposite. Um, you know the team well. You know Tunde well. What can you give me? I can't. I can't give anybody anything. Um, what I can say is like, if if that's what um, Anti Yard has said. Anti Yard is like family to me, so I back anything that he says. I uh, hope that things can be resolved, and I hope that uh, he and his camp, Tundi and the rest of them, and Frank, uh, they can continue their relationship and get this Joshua Boatsy fight over the line and let them continue fight and let, let that because it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a massive fight. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a, it's a massive it's a massive fight. So you know, I hope. You know I mean, like I'm saying, I hope that things can get sorted out. I mean, and that's it because it's not. I'm not in a position to speak about that. What I am going to say is this: when somebody is is you regard as your brother, then you act accordingly as your brother. You know what I mean? And and I hope things can be resolved. You know what I mean? But apart from that, it's like I love boxing so much that I just want to see the best fights. So take let's take away all of the. The he said, she said, and this, that, that, and all the rest of it. I just want to see the best guys fight the best guys. And in Great Britain, these two are the best light heavyweights out there. They need to fight. They need to earn a lot of money together as well. You know what I mean? And, and that's what I'm waiting for, for these guys to go do that and break that bread. Spence, appreciate your time. But here we have and Bivola just about to speak on the press conference. And yeah, let's see what they have to say. And I'll catch up with you very soon. Uh, well, thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum. Win gold now. IPMB is giving away 524 karat gold coins to our token holders worth over $2,000 each. Let's do this. <laughs> Thank you very much for this uh, great news. It's amazing. It's never been easier to own gold, so join the raffle now. i got a question for you. Where can discipline take you? Discipline points you towards your goals.